Sault Ste. Marie, the city of champions, celebrates its newest title holder. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Michael Drager. It was Sault Ste. Marie's tribute to the 1994 Division I National Hockey Champions, the Lake Superior State Lakers. TV 9 10's John McGowan was there. The city of Sault Ste. Marie stopped what it was doing at 4 o'clock Monday afternoon to pay tribute to its NCAA championship hockey team. It was just a week ago Saturday that the Lakers shocked Boston University 9-1 in the championship game that gave them their third overall title and second in three years. Today was a day to celebrate that victory and salute those that made it possible. They were cliffhangers all the way, and then that last game was something I didn't expect at all. I think they made believers of everyone when they did that. The players who were honored at a reception at the Norris Center after the parade say they are just now returning to Earth, but proud of their performance. I think beating Michigan for the first time in five games, yeah. Maybe that was our booster that gave us the confidence that we knew we could beat Harvard and we knew we could win the championship again. We just all came together and, and made a commitment to staying focused on one, one goal, a team goal, just one common ambition all year, and it was to get back to the, back to the Final Four. And Dignitaries read proclamations during the fan reception at the Norris Center, and each individual player was recognized, but Captain Clayton Beddoes perhaps expressed the mood of the day best. He said he's always wanted to do that. School officials say the continuing success of the hockey team is proving to be invaluable in gaining Lake Superior State University recognition all across the country. This, this is David and Goliath. We, we slew all the Goliaths of the hockey world. And we use, you factor in as a university of 3,500 students defeating schools of 70,000 students. It's phenomenal. It's all, all, almost mind-boggling when you think about it. And it's just everything has just been tied in together. And, and this is the cream of the crop. This is when you rise to the, rise to the top and it's a wonderful feeling to be number one. After the ceremonies, young Laker fans had a chance to get autographs from the champs, but for this team that had just six seniors, thoughts are already on next year. Uh, we got guys that are ready to play that are going to take over the, you know, the seniors' roles uh, for next year. It's tremendous. Everybody's excited already. In fact, uh, we started working out today, matter of fact. And fans in Sault Ste. Marie would not mind another run by this team at all. In Sault Ste. Marie, I'm John McGowan for TV 9 and 10, the news leader. All right, thanks, John. Laker head coach Jeff Jackson had an out-of-town speaking engagement, and he could not be on hand for today's parade and ceremony. Tigers home season.